Hello ladies and gents, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a 3D model of a rocket ship using Onshape. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is click on the sketch button in the top left hand side of the screen and then choose a plane to draw on. So we're going to use the front plane. So click that. And now we're going to create um, the shape of the rocket which is just a circle. So to do that go to the circle tool and choose the center point circle and then on that front plane go to the center point and create a circle so click to create that and now I just want to look at it straight on so it's like looking at a piece of paper so click on the front view of the view cube and you can see now the circle is 5.3 centimeters so I want to make it exactly 5 centimeters to do that go to the dimension tool click on the edge of your circle so it'll be highlighted in orange so click that and move the mouse cursor inward click to create that dimension and then just type over the measurements already in the box that appears so hit five and then press enter and that's set to five centimeters that's the main shape of our rocket very simple so just click on the green check mark to complete that part of the sketch and now we're going to turn this into a cylinder, which will be the, the body of the rocket. So to do that, I'm just going to um, hold the right mouse button and move the mouse a little bit so I can look at this from an angle. And then click on the extrude tool in the top left hand side of the menu. And then click on the face of the circle you just drew. And you get the default extrusion depth of 2.5 centimeters. I want to make this 10 centimeters. So where it says depth, I'm going to type over that 2.5 and I'm going to put 10 in there instead and then press enter um, and that's the, the the start of our rocket so once we've created that cylinder just click on the green check mark and now we're going to just zoom out slightly um, and if you want to reposition the camera you can hold the uh, middle mouse button or the, the, the scroll wheel down and then move the mouse cursor up down left or right to reposition that um, so now click on the extrude tool again and then go to the end of that cylinder and you can see it's highlighted in orange. Click that and it will give us again that default extrusion of 2.5 and I'm going to work with that, I'm going to keep that. But what we want to do is we want to taper this um, cylinder inward so the rocket gets more narrow as it gets towards the end. So we're going to use this little draft option here in the menu on the left hand side. You can see right now there's a little, little checkbox next to the word draft. If you click that, you'll see you get three degrees and a little um, rounded arrow icon. And if you look at your 3D model, you can see that the uh, extrusion that we've just created has started to taper outwards. What we want to do is we want to taper it inwards. So if we just click on that opposite direction icon, Look at your 3D model and you'll see it started to taper inside, um, inward, like the, like the end of a pencil. And it's set to a, an angle, a tapering angle of 3 degrees. So if we change that to, let's say we change it to 20 degrees, there we go, you can see that it started to taper inwards at a, at a greater angle. And that's what the draft option does. It basically uh, is part of the extrude tool and it allows you to taper the sides of your extrusion by angling them to a specific degree. So you can use whatever angle you like. If that if 20 is, is too tapered, um, you could change it to 10 and you can see how that looks. And if you're happy with that, you can use that. It doesn't have to use the exact dimensions um, that I'm using here. But um, I'll go with uh, 20 degrees. There you go. So you can see every time I change the value, the taper changes. Right. So now we've got that part of the rocket. Click on the, uh, the green check mark uh, and then go to the extrusion tool again. So extrude, click that and click on that uh, end face of that new extrusion. Um, and we're going to create another part of the rocket here. So again, you always get that depth of 2.5 centimeters by default. So I'm going to change that to seven centimeters and then I'm going to press enter um, and then click the green check mark. Now, finally, I want to add a pointed nose cone onto this rocket. So to do that, I'm going to go to the extrude tool one more time and I'm going to choose the very end of that new extrusion. So you can see it's highlighted in orange. Click once. 
um, and then click on the draft option. Um, and then click on opposite direction to make it taper inwards. Now you can see we've got this um, slight taper and this flat end. So let's try a taper of 45 degrees. And you can see it's given us this kind of little pointed um, end. And we've still got this uh, black disc with the, the, this arrow sticking out of it. If you click that arrow, you can move that and you can kind of cut away parts of that taper. So I want to move that away because I, I do want to see the full point. Um, and I'm going to change the, the angle of that taper to uh, 20 degrees again, see how that looks. So it's made it quite pointy now. Um, again, if that disc isn't in the right position, you can see it cuts off the end of the rocket. So just make sure that you've, you've dragged that out of the way so that you see like the, the full tip without anything cut off the end of your, your nose cone. When you're happy with how that looks, just click on the green check mark. So now we've got the body of our rocket. So what I'm going to do now is add that little section of the, the tail of the rocket that the flames would come out of. So to do that, I'm just going to rotate around the rocket um, and just to look at the end of that head on, click on the view cube in the top right hand side and you can see we're looking at the back of the rocket here. Click on that and it will bring it into a head on view. So we're looking at that straight on. Now we're going to click the sketch button and click on the end of that rocket because we're going to draw on this uh, little section. So you'll see it's highlighted in orange. Click that so we've added a new plane to the, the end of the rocket. And now go to your center point circle. So choose that from the, from the list and go to the center point of the rocket and just click and drag that cursor outward to draw your um, kind of exhaust for the rocket where the flames are going to come out of. So there we go. I've got that circle. Um, now I'm going to just rotate that slightly. So there you go. That's what it looks like. Just a circle on the end of the rocket. Click the green check mark to apply that. And now we're going to extrude that circle that we've just drawn. So click on the extrude tool and then click on the center of that rocket. So you can see the bit that I'm going to extrude is highlighted in orange. Make sure that you've not highlighted the outer part of the rocket, just the center, and then click that to extrude it. So you just click it once. Um, and as usual, you get that default depth of 2.5 centimeters. So we want to taper this section of the rocket outward. So click on that draft option again, um, and this time we're not going to change it to the opposite direction. So you can see it kind of tapers outward. Um, I'm going to change that to, let's say, about 8 degrees. There we go. So it tapers outward a little bit more. Um, and I'm happy with that. So when you like the way it looks, just click on the, uh, the green check mark to apply that. But you can see here that there, there is no hole for the flames to come out of this, uh, this rocket. So we're going to add that hole now. So to do that, you need to click on the sketch button again, click on the base of your rocket, and then you are going to make sure that you are viewing that from the, the back angle head on, like this. From the menu at the top, you can see that there is a point tool. Click on the point tool, and then go right to the center of that rocket, and at the center point, click the mouse button once to apply your point. And then if you just um, rotate it slightly, you can see that white point that we just drew. That's the point we've applied. Click on the green check mark. And then in the 3D options, in the, in the center of the toolbar at the top of the screen, click on the hole tool. You can't miss it. It looks a bit like a washing machine. It's a cube with a hole in it. So click on that. And then you can click on the dot. So it says here, sketch points to place holes. Well, we, we already sketched that point earlier on. That's what that white dot is. So just click on that point. And if we just zoom in, you can see it's actually created a hole, right? It's like drilled a hole. So it's very small at the moment. It's only 0 0.53 centimeters in diameter um, or 5.3 millimeters. And the rocket itself is about, it, well, it was five centimeters in diameter. So let's change that to, let's say 3.5 centimeters. Um, and press enter. So now we've got that wider hole. And the termination point, depending on what you've used before, if you've used this um, tool before, if it's set to through all, well, we don't want that because what happens is it puts a hole through, if I just zoom out here, through the whole rocket. 
we don't want that. So you want to set that termination point to blind. And then you can set the depth. So mine's set to five centimeters. But if I change that to one centimeter, you can see that it drills a hole. And it's not very deep if you look at it. So if I change that to five, the hole becomes deeper, right? Um, there we go. So I've got this kind of like deep hole uh, that's been drilled into the rocket. This is where the flames will come out of. And there we go. So the rocket's almost done. So when you're happy with the, the, the size and depth of that hole, just click on the green check mark to apply that. Um, and that's the main body of the rocket done. So all we're going to do now to finish this off is add some booster rockets around the sides. To do that, again, click on the, uh, the back view of your rocket. Um, and you're going to click on the sketch button. And this time we're going to um, add a sketch plane, but we're not going to put it right at the base of the rocket. We're going to put it part way up where the, the first uh, part of the rocket body we created is. And you can see it's highlighted in orange as I move the mouse cursor over it. So again, not the very bottom but the start of that main section. Click that and it will apply um, a plane for you to sketch on. Now we need to look at that head on. So you're gonna click on the view cube in the top right hand corner and look at that uh, from the back view. And you're going to need to go to the rectangle tool and choose a center point rectangle. Click that, click on the center point and just draw a rectangle um, any size because we're gonna change this in a minute anyway. So right now it's about six by seven centimeters. So it's a little bit too big. I want it to be five by five, which is matching the size of the rocket. So go to the dimension tool, click that, and click on the edge of your rectangle once, move the mouse cursor outward, and then click again. And change that dimension to five, five centimeters. Go to the other edge of your rectangle, click that, move the mouse cursor outward, click again, and then hit five and press enter. And now we've got this perfect square that matches the dimensions of the, uh, the main body of the rocket. So what we need to do now is draw um, or sketch, should I say, the, uh, the start of the rocket boosters. To do that, go to your center point circle and then go to the corner of the top left uh, of the square. So make sure you've got that, that point. You can see it's highlighted in, in orange when you're over it. Click and create a circle and you'll feel it snap into place and the edge of the main body of the rocket is highlighted in yellow. So click to create that circle and then do the same thing for the other corners. But these ones won't snap into place. That doesn't matter because we're gonna change the size of them with the dimension tool anyway. So just draw three more circles. So you've got one on each corner of that square and then when you've done that, go to the dimension tool. Click the dimension tool, go to the edge of the first circle that you drew, click once and move the mouse cursor inward so the measurement appears. Now, rather than type over this, hit Command C to copy that measurement and then press Enter. And then go to the edge of another circle, click it, move the mouse cursor inward so the measurement appears, click again. But this time hit Command V to paste that measurement we copied over and press enter and do that for all of the circles. So click on the edge, move the mouse cursor inward, click again, then hit command V and press enter. Do that for the last circle, command V, press enter. So now they're all the same size. Um, so we're going to turn these into booster rockets. Now before we do that, we're going to delete the parts of the square that we don't need because the square was just a guide. So click on the trim tool, which is a pair of scissors in the menu at the top of the screen, and then hover the mouse cursor over the parts of the square that you no longer need, and just click once to delete them. So you're just left with the circle and the dot in the middle. So just go around the rocket body, around those parts of the square, and delete those, because we don't need them anymore. All right, with that done, that's the sketch completed. So click on the green check mark to apply that. All right, so now rotate your rocket slightly so that you are able to see, at least partially, all of the circles that you've just drawn. So when you hover the mouse cursor over them, they're all highlighted. Now click on the Extrude tool 
and then click on the faces of each of those new circles. One, two, three, four. And you can see they've extruded in the wrong direction. So if we just zoom around, you see the way they've extruded in, the, in, in like the reverse direction. I don't want that. I want, to, um, I want to extrude them up the body of the main rocket. So click on that arrow, hold the mouse, and move the extrusion in the opposite direction until you're happy with the height. Um, I want it to be 10 centimeters, and if you can't get that exact, instead you can just go to the depth and type 10 in there instead. There we go. So that's the body of the booster rocket. So all we need to do now is put a point on those. So click on the um, green check mark to finish that extrusion. And then one last time, click on the extrude tool again, and then click on each face one. So that extrusion appears. And then the second rocket, the third, and the fourth. Right, so they're all extruded with a depth of 2.5 centimeters. So all we need to do now is click the draft option. And you see the way, as usual, by default, it's set to three degrees with that outward taper. Click on the opposite direction icon and change that. So we'll make that, let's say, 20 degrees. Press Enter. And again, if the end is cut off, so you've got that flat end, just move that arrow, click and hold it to you know, um, reveal more of that extrusion. And when you've got that full point revealed and you're happy with how it looks, just click the green check mark. And if we zoom out, that's the rocket completed. Okay? So all that's left to do now is color the rocket because it's a little bit oddly colored by default. So to do that, right click on the body of the rocket and go to edit appearance for part one. Click that and then choose a color. Uh, I'm just going to color the whole thing in red. And then when you're happy with that, click the green check mark. I'm going to go down to that little um, exhaust bit, the, the booster at the bottom, uh, right click that and go to edit appearance to face so I can change individual parts of, of this bit. And I'm just gonna make that gray. And as I rotate around, I can click on these sections and change each bit individually rather than all at once. All right, uh, so let's just change the color of the boosters. So to do that, click the green check mark, right click on one of the boosters um, and go to edit appearance for part three. Um, choose a color, so I'll choose like a blue color for that. And then just rotate around and click on each part of the, um, the booster rocket so that they all match. And you can choose whatever color you want. Oh, this one there, there we go. Okay, um, so they're all colored. When you're happy with that, click on the green check mark. You can zoom out, um, and there's your rocket. All right, all complete. If your measurements aren't exactly the same, that's fine. Uh, it just needs to look something like that. So um, follow that tutorial yourself, uh, give it a go, and see if you can do it. Okay, good luck.